Head on over to our affiliates at inkgaming.com to pick up play mats, deck boxes, sleeves, anything that you need to get your game night going. Maybe even get yourself a custom play mat. Check out the link in the description below. But when you do, he's got you. Yeah. And I get no zombie. Uh -huh. maybe, Don't play maybe it. Maybe create an enemy with Dan. I think there's a could fight it out because you've got swamps and he can just think there's... get you every turn now. And he, uh, he's, 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 he's on, man, he's, on, he's just, I'm just like, one at a time. Blah, 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 blah. Who are you telling? You're off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you. Just, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> take Hell it off. Metal. I go last every turn. I mean, come on. Chris, what's giving your stuff swamp walk? That is the filth in my graveyard. <laughs> yeah, is it a creature? I'm here all night. We're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> You're tied for lowest life. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys made enemies each other for life. <laughs> like the British and the Scots. <laughs> oh, the Japanese and the Scots. The Scots and other Scots. And other Scots. <laughs> Let's roll. Six. Ooh, oh. Yay, 19 for me. Nat 20. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> I had a chance this week. <laughs> I finally roll a high number and I still go last. <laughs> oh my god. It should go in order of highest. Like, I should go second. By highest mana cost? <laughs> no, I should. Because I, I would by far win that one. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Oh, oh my man. gosh, that's great. Nicely done, Dan. Uh, okay, so uh, welcome to the show. We're doing uh, Commander Homebrew. We Basically, either took decks that we already had and upgraded them, dusted them off and upgraded them, or uh, built new stuff. You know, but mostly we just took decks we already had and upgraded. Stuff that was from the Commander Masters. Yeah, so yep. specifically yeah. Commander Masters. These yeah. are reprinted in the set, so we're playing Commanders from them that were reprinted. These might not be the reprints themselves, but <laughs> except uh, mine, I actually got the the cooler dragon but fancy 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 <laughs> <The> cooler uh, <laughs> dragon <laughs> <laughs> so remember to give us a like subscribe comment share yeah let us know what you think uh and with that take, take it away dan all right i'm playing one of my favorites the scarab god or scarab guru he is a five drop at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life, and you scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Uh, pay four, exile target creature card from a graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 four, four black zombie. When the Scarab God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. And he's a 5-5. Five, five. Big em. Mostly zombies in there? Or you... Zombie tribal. Huh? Playing around with those with the graveyard, get stuff like back. I didn't like it then, I don't ability. like it now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cool. Well, Dan's not the only one messing around with Graveyard because I brought Sadissi, Brood Tyrant. Uh, she's a 3 3 Naga Shaman. When she enters the battlefield or attacks, put the top three cards of my library into the graveyard. Whenever one or more creature cards are put into my graveyard from my library, put a 2 2 Black Zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Yeah, I've actually had this deck for a while uh, since the original Cons of Tarkir came out, and it basically main game plan is mill, mill myself, get zombies, uh, question mark, and then profit. You said it's a Naga? It's yes. A Naga Shaman, Naga Shaman, Naga Shaman. <laughs> Hopefully it's... Uh, snake, snake, snake. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, Naga, Naga, Naga to win this game. <laughs> mm, we'll see. How about you, Ken? Who's your commander this oh, time? I am playing the Ur Dragon. It's a legendary dragon avatar with eminence. As long as the Ur Dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. It's flying. Uh, whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards. Then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. He is 10-10. That's pretty big. Big boy. Hopefully I can get the mana to put him out. <laughs> so Dream! It's the dream. <laughs> so dragons. Dragons, yes. I played dragons. I'm, Dra I'm kidding. It's elf tribal. <laughs> well, that, that would be the <laughs> ultimate swerve. It would be. 
Good. Okay, well, I'm the only one not playing Tribal. Uh, Heartless Hitisku. And yes, everyone will pronounce that different when they try it. Uh, but basically, 4 3, and uh, I can tap him, and he'll deal damage to each player, including myself, equal to half of that player's life total rounded down. So. Obviously, that's the goal, is to try to not lose life, so when we half everybody, I won't take the most of it. Mm. Oh, boy. So Good. we shall Kill see. him. Yeah, I had this for a while <laughs> as well, but since it was in Commander Masters, that gave me an opportunity to play it again, so... Yeah, so zombies, And first zombies. time on the channel, so... Dragons kill everyone. <laughs> Death. Yeah, death is tribal. <laughs> it's a good spread. <laughs> oh boy. Well, well this is going to be an interesting game. We'll see who gets there first. Hopefully not Vince. Or you. <laughs> Kidding. Well, I go I'm last, so proud so that you're rooting for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for you on the last one. Get out of here. <laughs> well, with that, kick us off, Dan. Alright, I will play an island and that's all I can do. Go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. Whew. Four wow. more turns. I don't have to do a thing. Now I have <laughs> options. Fascinating. I'm just going to play a humble breeding pool tapped. Pass to Ken. Always humble. <laughs> doesn't say humble or draw. Tapped. It's not an apple pie either, but still. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I will play the World Tree. The World Tree enters the battlefield tapped. I can tap it for green. As long as you control six or more lands, lands you control have tap, add one mana of any color to mana pool. Then by paying two white, two blue, two black, two red, two green, I tap it, sacrifice the World Tree, search your library for any number of god cards, put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. I don't exactly have god cards in here, but... Mana fixing. It is mana fixing. Okay. <laughs> There's gotta be some dragon gods. Could me yeah, probably, or I could use a card to make him gods. You know, one mm. of the uh, Tiamat is a dragon god. Just okay. so you know if he is. Oh, in there. well, he is in there. So yeah. all right, pass. Okay, I will draw. I will play a mountain surprise with my surprise. monocolor deck, and I will pass. All right, I will draw. I will play a swamp. I will pay two for an asthmatic mummy. I mean, a miasmic mummy. <laughs> Uh, when Miasmic Mummy enters the battlefield, each player discards a card. Ew. Oh, so everybody discards something. Oh, you suck. Well, that's cool. Fortunate. Oh. I'm going to get rid of this island. Oh, man. I don't want to get rid of anything, but I have to get rid of Hitsuku's second right. I will As a discard cruel card to make a discard. Baron. What was it you discard? Hitsuku's second Stop. right. Oh, okay. I didn't even know he had two right hands. So yeah. have two Unfortunately, hands. that's how bad I don't want to lose anything else in my hand. I'm gonna just <laughs> I'm gonna discard Bill Fair uh, Bill Fire Dragon because I don't I have the math. Have half everyone twice. <laughs> Someone can die, and that would have happened. Yeah. Good, good for you. <laughs> all right, all done ruining our days, Dan. Yeah, that's all I can do. Our dreams. All right, on tap. Draw. Cool. Uh, I'll play Morphic Pool and cast Skull Prophet. It's a 3-1. You can tap to add uh, black or green, and I can also tap to mill myself too. Hmm. Go ahead, Ken. Alright. Untap. Draw. I will tap this for green, and I will play a Delightful Halfling. Halfling Citizen, tap to add a colorless, or tap add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a legendary spell. And that spell can't be countered. It's a one-two. Uh, and then I will play uh, a land for turn. I'll play a Haven of the Spirit Dragon. It's a tap, add a colorless. Tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pools. Uh, spend this mana to cast only dragon spells. Pay two, sacrifice Haven of the Dragon. Uh, of the spirit dragon return target dragon creature card or Ugin planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand that be my turn All Pass right. it on. that's no elf draw it's a halfling <laughs> uh, we'll it's a little early for Christmas jokes mountain and I will pass there I don't see a shelf Dan I was saying no elf no elf oh <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I will play this island. 
Then I will tap all three of these for a tragic lesson. Draw two cards, then discard a card unless you return a land you control to its owner's hand. One, two. I will discard prized amalgam. A milk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, appears to be uh wait no I can attack somebody yeah. yes you can but then no. I'd be open for attacks yes you how would. awful mm. how big is that it's a two two oh. whereas you have a one two and Chris has a three one mm. so right now if I leave him untapped nobody's gonna attack me but if I tap him then yeah somebody probably will. Well, I honestly need this for mana. So, <laughs> so you're saying I can attack you? <laughs> you could. You could. And I will take it if you do. <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm going to pass. Oh. <laughs> All righty. Thought it was going to be an ice cream sandwich standoff yet again. <laughs> There's only so many I can have in a night. <laughs> and that's all six of them. <laughs> that is <laughs> tummy aches. <laughs> all right. Handy. Can you just bring a little cooler up here so you don't have to keep going downstairs? <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, next week, if you guys want ice cream sandwiches, Dan will have a bunch right here. <laughs> bring your own. <laughs> as long as I can borrow your cooler. <laughs> so many good ideas. I like it. Uh, so I play a swamp. I will use all of my manas to cast a disease. <gasps> Root Tyrant. I'll mill three cards. Quick being of time. I mill Fane of Progress. Glass Pool Mimic and uh, Black Bloom Rogue. So at least one of those was a creature. And mm -hmm. I get a zombie. Hey. Hooray! That's two creatures. There's three. Yeah, but he only needs to have at least yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at least I can count. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go ahead, kid. All right, I'm tap. <laughs> Draw. Mm. Awesome. Okay, I'll play a mountain for a turn. It's got mm. Dragon Shadow. Um. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I got playing dragons and my dragon shields. Mm. So, anyways, I'll tap this for black. I'll tap this for red, and I'll tap this for colorless. And I will play Ravaz of the Claw. He's a legendary Vashino warlock. It has menace. Tap add two mana in any combination of colors. Spend this mana to to only only to cast dragon creature spells. Oh. Once during each of your turns, you may cast a dragon creature spell from your graveyard. Uh, whenever you cast a dragon creature spell from your graveyard, it gains when this creature dies, exile it. He's a 3-3. Mm. Three, three. Oh and boy. he's legendary. He's so so scary fast. Well... <laughs> yeah, yeah, good argument, Ken. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, mm, yeah. go from me being crazy scary to you... No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you'll be scary. That's fine. All right. I'm pass. <laughs> An airtight argument. I from will the draw. <laughs> That's... Seven years old. I will bird college. <laughs> play a another mountain. Oh, I didn't even know that was. And huh. he's following the instructions on the map. Who knew? <laughs> right, and I'm gonna pass. Oh really? Yep. Really? Man. Oh yeah. Wow. Friendship. <laughs> I'm gonna play a swamp, and then I'm gonna pass. Everybody with the passing. People might have instants in their hand, like Dan. Maybe. I'll uh, untap. Draw per turn. Neat. Oh, what to do? What to do? Well, I'll start by casting Seder Whitefinder. Mm -hmm. When enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards from my library. I may put a land card from among them into my hand and put the rest into my Seder graveyard. You so, Young Knight Necromancer, Spore Frog, a Lonely Sandbar, and Narcomiba. Well, I get the Lonely Sandbar to hand. I mill the other three creatures. So, I got two triggers here. I will get a creature, uh, a zombie from Sadissi, and Narcomiba will trigger uh, since I milled it from my library. Uh, to my graveyard, I can play. Put it into play. What kind of Yu-Gi-Oh card is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's from Future Sight. It was a very Yu-Gi-Oh-esque set. I don't know about that. I think they just changed the the borders because they were like, oh, we're... we're yeah, I have a couple game. of those, and I keep skipping over them. I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> future Sight. This is what the game will look like in the future. Mm, yep. 30 years later, it's the same borders. Same... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I, I still will. tap it this way? 
<laughs> I have to do a somersault over the, the cheese factory. <laughs> tapping lands twice. <laughs> Just tapping a land on tap a land. <laughs> it could. Uh, All right. Play this opulent palace, and then I'll go to combat. Um, Dan wants things in the graveyard. Also, Ken scary, but his you got Shino, way more than me. <laughs> yeah, he meant other than him. Fair. I will attack Dan for three. He's fair. Block. Yep. I also get to mill three cards, milling demonic embrace, hinterland harbor, and filth. Oh so, no! Guess what, Dan? You couldn't block. Swamp oh. walk. But does that? This is an attack trigger. So on attack declaration, I mill three, and before blocks, filth is adds up in the graveyard. So now you don't have my swamps out swamp yet, walk. but when you do, he's got you. Yeah, and I get no zombie. Uh -huh. Maybe, don't play. Maybe it. he created enemy with Dan. I think there's like could fight it out because you've got swamps and he can just straight up get you every turn now. I think I have like one swamp. In here. Mm. Actual swamp? Yeah. Get the All right. out of here. Main two. Well, I will like cast this. Sakura Tribe Elder and then pass to Ken. Steve! Yep, I can sacrifice him to go get a basic. Yeah, every and staple and then some. <laughs> so and he, he's, 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 he's on, man, he's, on, he's just <laughs> hit the roof. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> Running. I'm just like, one at a time. La, la, la. Who are you <laughs> telling? <Draw. laughs> no, I'm with you. Just, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> take Hell it off. Metal. I go last every turn. I mean, come on. That's a good point. I'm going to never roll a 19 again. <laughs> I'm going to tap uh, Ravaz for two mana. I'm going to get uh, blue and white out of there. And I'll tap this one for green, and this, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And I will play Amareth the Lust... Lustorus? <laughs> Lustrious? Lustrious, that's what I said. Uh, he's a dragon. Mm. No. <laughs> uh, whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it shares a card type with a permanent, uh, with a permanent, you may reveal that card and put it into your hand. He's a 6-6. Six, six. Jeez. Frying. Dragons. Dragons. And that's all I can do, because I'm tapped out. He doesn't have haste, so. Okay, we'll uh, do the same thing again. Let me draw. Hmm. I don't think I'll play a mountain this time. You gonna play an uh, island? No, I'm going to play uh, Nephilia Academy. Um, if a spell or ability an opponent controls cause me to discard a card, I may reveal that card and put it on top of my library instead of anywhere else, or tap it for colorless. It's pretty good here. Uh, I am, however, going to still pass my turn. Oh, <laughs> you guys bought stuff okay. in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. Give him more reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will play another swamp. This was put in there way back when and I was here. And I will pay here, so. five <laughs> to get Scab Goo out. He's oh, here. Boy. It's good with Dan's shenanigans with making you discard. So yeah. shenanigans. Uh, Soap Scare God. That uh, that's what I'd be doing. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> cool. Well, he tapped out. Yep. So. <laughs> All right. On tap. Draw for turn. Fun, fun, fun. fun Play fun, fun. your daddy takes your magic cards away. <laughs> Fascinating. So let's try some more fun stuff. I don't think any of us can counter anything, so I don't think there's try. I think you're only yeah. going to do. <laughs> All right. So the card I built earlier, Demonic Embrace, I can actually cast it from my graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card oh, in addition to paying no. its other cost. He lost life. So I'll lose three. Uh, I'm going to cast it, Enchant Sadissi with it. Oh, enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus one. Has flying and is a demon in addition to its other types. Mm. And Swamp yeah, So this is six, five, flying, Swamp Walk, demon, Naga, Shaman. Oh. Did you get all that? Poo yeah. Nerf Dragons. Well, I mean, I have a six, six flyer, so. Yeah, no, I am yeah, uh, aware of where it's. I, he'll kill it, but. Yeah. Oh, I had to discard a card trade. as well. So, yeah, pay through life. I'll discard Stinkweed Imp. <laughs> it's a little stinky, but it does have Dredge 5, which I can demonstrate right now. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cycle Lonely Sandbar, and instead of drawing, I'll Dredge 5 cards, which means I mill 5 cards, 
<laughs> and Sting Cleanup to my hand instead of drawing. Oh. So I'm milling Cabal Coffers, Cephalid Coliseum, <laughs> Titan Nothrex, Island, and Haunted Fengraph. I got a cre I did mill a creature, so a new zombie cometh. Sweet. <sighs> Is it Vengraph like a, 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 a thing? Like Vengraph? I don't know. A, oh, I'm thinking of graph, skin graph. All right. Yeah, I think it might be another <laughs> name for a graveyard or some some such. Couldn't tell you. I could. Oh. Not gonna. Uh, <laughs> not, gonna not, uh, not gonna tell you. <laughs> All right, so I'll go to combat. Uh, I don't think I need to put the pedal or let off the pedal on Dan, but I will also attack Ken with three two two zombies. So I'm gonna mill three. So. Shizo, Death Storehouse, Swamp Forest. No creatures. He doesn't there. have a swamp out, so he can't block. True. Okay. So I blocked one of them, but obviously I have to take four. Yep. Okay. That was the plan. Try and kill me. to me. Interesting. Yeah, yes, sir. Interesting, interesting. interesting He's trying interesting. to kill me. Interesting. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm more interested in whittling you down so Vids can actually kill you. But we'll see how that goes. But don't, won't you die too? Um, I'm just happy yeah, <laughs> had pity on me for we'll, doing absolutely nothing. We'll this see. Game. <laughs> we shall see. Go ahead, Ken. All right, untap. Draw. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Thank God for all your ramp. Yeah, but I'm still short. On stuff that I need to do certain cards in my hand. That is not good. Let's go one, two, three, four. But see, yeah, I have to go six. Luckily, this gives me whatever. But I, with this, I have it. Let's put out uh, Dragon Lord Dramoka, Elder Dragon. Dragon Lord Dramoka can't be countered. Flying lifelink. Your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. He's a 5-7, and this will trigger. It enters the battlefield uh, under your control. Look at the top card of your library. If it shares a creature type with the permanent, you may reveal that card and put it in your hand, and it does. Revealing Culligan, the Star of Fury, yeah. going to my hand. That's a good one. A Life Linker is a good one. They're all good ones. Yeah, That's a Vente Latte, I, if I've ever done seen one. You got Get it, is Dramoka. That, mm, I got it. The amoeba, the only flyer you have? Correctly, yes. yes. It just wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta gonna hold up it. blockers because you. <laughs> oh, you know, I <laughs> Pass. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this again. Draw. Spin. You can do events, I believe in you. Oh, yeah. We'll play the Chris Land Haunted Fengraph. <laughs> Nice. When I saw it, I'm like, that looks familiar. Oh, yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, well, that's what I came here to do. So tap out to oh, cost my commander. Yep. He's there. He does not have haste. Thank God. So whatever you got to and want to do. Heartless hiccup. Um, obviously, that's the whole point. So heartless hiccup. If I tap him, it does damage <laughs> to each player equal to half that player's life total rounded down. Gotcha. It's better than rounded up. I'm yeah. sure I have 40 and it don't matter. You round here. Currently up. winning. Yeah, I have a feeling not for long. Um, yeah, no pass. That's all I ice cans do. Mm. All right, untap. At the beginning of my upkeep, each opponent loses one life, and I scry one where one is the number of zombies I control. One. So it's currently one. That's why I said one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, it's been a long week. It has. <laughs> I am. Totally agree with you on that one. Yes. If there's infinite tokens, how come there's not like bottomless tokens? <laughs> Shouldn't we just keep, keep going and in. going and going and going? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play an island. Chris, what's giving your stuff swamp walk? That is the filth in my graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it a creature? I'm here all <laughs> We're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> it is a creature, yes. Saw that pesky filth in my so, <laughs> Saw that pile of bullshit in my creature. <laughs> I am going to steal it. <laughs> oh, no, really? Oh, no, you exile it, you monster. <laughs> Sadly, your commander is still, like, uh, six a and, yeah. flies. and it flies. So I've only removed one problem. Yeah, but well, that was a pretty damn good answer. But, right? like, if it didn't fly, I was like, okay, I feel pretty comfortable. But at this point, it's just... You're just half comfortable. 
<laughs> Exerted. <laughs> Embalmed. Oh, it's basically the same He's thing. He's floating in liquid. <laughs> what is it, a 4-4? Four, four? basically the same thing. It's is a 4-4. It, four, four. it is a 4-4, four, four, though. That's the, that's swamp the block. Yeah. There's the caveat. Too. And that's still, though. No, no. It's almost a better answer than it is good for you. Mm. But when it dies, it's exiled. Then again, Instead he's got a swamp. Back to his graveyard. True. He doesn't have a swamp. Well, that has to be does. in the grave. Oh, wait, it does no, have swamp No, it has block. swamp block. Yes, Ex correct. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. Yes, it's been exiled no, 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 no. from your no, no. You're saying this has swamp yeah. block. Yes, yes, it's a 4-4 four, four with swamp block. And... Yay, my Yeah, that's why it gives all the other things swamp block. Yeah. But it, it won't know. ever give all my other stuff swamp block. <laughs> no, but it itself... And it's not going back to his graveyard, which I is understand. what I'm having. All right. I'm just yeah. saying that it can do four damage for you. I mean, it probably will, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's his um, plan. At least. At the minimum. How many swamps are you holding on to in your hand? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. You better play those things. <laughs> Only he flies. Yep. She flies. Is that a narcoball yeah, fly? The narcoball also flies. All right. Well, that's a 1 1. Uh, is there anything else I can do to prevent taking more commander damage? And I think the answer is no. So I'm going to pay 1 for an aqueous form. Uh, enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't be blocked. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, scry one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's move on to attacks. Mm. Chris, take nine. Well, that doesn't have haste, right? Oh, you're right. Oh. Bomber. Pooh. Summer. Take five. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And I will scry Wait. one. Ah. Sure yeah, you commanded him back. <laughs> he did. And the blood feud continued. I used commander <laughs> as a verb. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave that where it's at. Two turntables and a microphone? <laughs> Thanks. I got it. That's all I can do. Chris, boost up your creature and kill me. No, I'll try it. Wow. The first time I sacrifice a career tribe elder. You're tied for lowest life. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you guys made enemies each other for life. <laughs> Like the British and the Scots. <laughs> or the Japanese and the Scots. Or Scots and other Scots. And other Scots. <laughs> Those are Scots. They ruined Scotland. <laughs> right, I get a swamp tapped with Jedi, Steve. another Jedi. <laughs> Somebody spoof that? I think so. I think they had to have. It's too good. Everybody keeps spoofing the um, Obi-Wan uh, Anakin part. Well, it's like, it's a s'more and a piece of chocolate. Like, mm. you're, you're gonna burn to that. I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna build two cards at the end. Two of your own cards, right? and, Yeah, I'll use Skull Prophet oh, okay. to build two. So I'll build a forest and Sir Conrad the Grim. So I'm gonna build oh, a zombie. God, I love that Gimme, 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 gimme. Totally not what it's on my <laughs> Not yet, you will. <laughs> Maybe on the next go. <laughs> Maybe. Sugar, sugar. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I'll untap all my stuff. I got four zombies. And I'm okay. Hey. 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 Ken, what's your big creature in the graveyard? Draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dragon. Oh, dragon on the blade. Balefire. Yeah, maybe I'll steal him and use him to block. <laughs> <laughs> do what you got. You got to do there, guy. Unless. Dan has options. Yes, he does. With all the creatures in Vince's graveyard. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Now that swamp walk's gone, yeah. <laughs> creatures in this deck, you're fine. <laughs> Actually, I think there's like two or three. Wow. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> well, what happened? No, I'm just missing the eminence trigger. I didn't need to pay all that. Oh, oh. dang it. I was going to ask you earlier how Oops. much it actually cost you for that lustrous dragon, but well, I, I thought you tapped correctly, but then it turned well, out. Well, it didn't hurt anything. It no. So, yeah, yeah, I don't have answers. If, if you would have saved like up a land, would you do something with it? I mean, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. Take your burn. <laughs> <laughs> you tapped it and you didn't use it. <laughs> you fool! Man, if only. We're playing 1994 <laughs> Magic here. <laughs> oh my god, no. Uh, I do. Good thing I put all my anti cards in here. <laughs> There's still a format dedicated for There is. For just, you know, 93, 94. Mm -hmm. See, the mana burn thing would make more sense to me if there was more mana that generated like two or three. Well, where it's like it's really hard to just get one and get the perfect amount. It so worked you're constantly burning yourself. It worked in sixty card because it made it was quicker. Yeah. It was all yeah. about making it quicker. Plus, yeah. Plus there were cre like um, 
I forget the golem, but like with creatures that could die that added mana to your mana pool, yeah. but because you know you couldn't use it fast enough, you know that's you know it was a trade off of having this good body. See, I feel like that mm -hmm. would be a fun mechanic. I don't know. It kind of was fun to work around. There was a few cards that it went it specifically hard. around it, but yeah, yeah. You did it though. You get it. Yeah. I don't have five. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have six. But yeah. Because we used one. to just play Soul Rings for no reason back then. Now we play them because, hey, mm -hmm. Soul Ring. Yeah. <laughs> well, soul Ring broken free. card in the commander format. No, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, so I'm going to combat and just debating over who's going where at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn. It's like pointing just back at yourself. Fair. Right there. Um, Chris attacks his own life total? Yeah. Yeah, that would be funny. Uh, what? Okay. I'll so, allow it. <laughs> so, four zombies and a Seder Wayfarer at Ken. Uh, because he totally ordered the sofa uh, online. And I'll text it, uh, Dan with Sadissi again, and I will mill you three cards. certainly want that Seder to die. Uh, Massacre Girl, Golgari wow. Thug, and Force. So, I'll get a new zombie to replace the ones I'll be losing. So, so nine damage total. At me? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so four, two, two. Interesting. You got two dragons. All right, well, two of them are going to obviously block two of the zombies. Yep. And then take five. Yeah. I'm just trying to help Vince out. Yeah. I haven't yeah. done anything yet. <laughs> and you're going to win. It's <laughs> not <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> This is he thinks he can barter with him. I don't even but know what's going you on. No ice cream. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> he's come to barter. Are you bartering with the ice cream I bought? <laughs> is there no. Don't <laughs> well, get me one. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna mill two more cards with Skull Prophet now because I'm trying to find something just to stop Dan from messing with me. But that's. <laughs> Draws orders, deck more salvage. No creature. Maybe you shouldn't have attacked me three times in a row. <laughs> it's called commander, not sit back and do nothing. Well, if it's, it's a creature, gotcha there. If it's, if it's, <laughs> I remember passing a turn when I could have attacked. I mean, if it's, he's got you there. <laughs> if it's a precon, it's mostly sitting back and doing nothing. No, you don't know what half the cards do. Yeah, so much reading. Um, okay, so. Didn't pan out, but I have to count yet again because I'm going to cast Spider Spawning. Oh no! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Yeah, I put a 1-1 one, one green spider creature token with reach onto the battlefield oh. for each creature in my graveyard. Well, it looks like your dragons do nothing to him now. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that card. It's so good. In this situation, it's perfect. It is, oh, it's so good. Yep, I have exactly 10 creatures <laughs> in my graveyard. So 10 one twos. That can block flying. Yep. So good. Go ahead, Ken. My <laughs> Totally. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Draw. I haven't even seen the new cards I put in this deck yet. Okay. This is good. I feel like mana you confluence. Got this game. Mana confluence. Tap, Ooh. pay one life, add one mana of any color. Okay. Puts me closer to what I want. <laughs> Not as close as I'd like. Mm -hmm. mm. So, one, two, three. Then, then two, I think I'll lock out. Four, one, two, three, four. This will go for five. I'll play uh, Goldspan Dragon because this will be a way to get me where I need to go. Four four minutes flying. You did. Hey, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. Doesn't your dragon priest guy this give you two, two mana? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you were mostly good. Gold span's good. Yeah. No. No. I'm right. Two. One, two, three, four. So thank you for yeah, reminding yeah. me about my eminence. Uh, flying haste. Uh, whenever gold span dragon attacks or becomes a target of a spell or becomes a Oh, sorry. <laughs> the target of a spell, create a treasure token. Treasure token, treasures you control have tap, sacrifice, sacrifice this artifact, add two mana of any color. Hmm. So to pull this off, eventually here. Vince? Oh no. I am, I am gonna swing at you for four. Ah, uh, fine. Man, you guys couldn't ignore me the whole game. Nope. <laughs> I wasn't ignoring you. I was actively pretending you didn't exist. Not worrying about you yet. 
Oh. I don't blame you. No. I totally don't blame you. He said you're doing bad. No, that's not I'm what aware. I said. I'm <laughs> aware. <laughs> this deck is called Get Five Man Outs. I can cast my commander and do its thing at least once before I die. <laughs> Why do you have anything other than mana in there? No, that's how I get him out as quickly yeah. as possible. I have only mana in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, and because I put that out, I get Yul's triggered see. here. He does One and a reveal uh, <laughs> two and a Teneb. Teneb. <laughs> I draw soul ring next. I'm going to reveal Teneb the Harvester. Oh, boy. Uh, it's going to my hand. Dragons. Huh? Jesus. Do you have his brother, Frank the Combine? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I can do this now. Joe the Crop Duster. <laughs> Do you mean what you really mean, or do you mean like you were trying to be a farmer here? I was trying to stay in line with the farm theme, but clearly, <laughs> I don't think that's true. I wonder what Joe would say about that nickname. <laughs> here, have it a, was one time. Half a woo dollar, Vince. Don't want a woo dollar. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm gonna sacrifice this treasure token. I'm gonna add two green to my mana pool. And then, because this costs six, I just need to add one more. So I'll add that, and I will play the Party Tree. Oh, boy. This spell has, costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest power creatures control. That costs six. This is seven colorless, so it will cost me one, so that's three. Tap to add two green, and you gain two life. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It's the Great Henge. I was going to say, it yeah. sounds a lot like the Great Henge. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, a Great Henge, but it's the party <laughs> I know, tree I know, from... I know. Yeah. Um, Lord, of the, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. I pass. Yeah, I get to go, finally. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Untap my land, draw this card. Okay, so... Hopefully I can do some stuff this time. Yeah, half our life. <laughs> I'm going, well, yeah, that's it. Step one, oh. half your life. <laughs> yep. No, that won't be step one. Step one is play Sun Scorched Desert. Oh. Uh, when it enters the oh. battlefield, does one damage to target player. I'll have that be you, Chris. Okay. Oh, we're tied for 30. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to pay six. Cast Fiendish Duo. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. First strike, if a source would deal damage to an opponent, it deals double that damage instead. Oh. Oh, God. did you just win this? I was afraid of this. No, you're gonna be at one. Um, but I am gonna play Dark Sphere for free. If I sacrifice it, I can prevent half the damage done to me by a single source round it down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so God. I am going to half everybody, and it's gonna happen twice. Oh, you just killed me. And then I'm no, gonna. No wait, did he? No. Cause... Yes, fifteen, and then you're gonna have fifteen a second time. Same with Chris. Yep. Dan's gonna be twelve twice. Wow. I myself am going to sacrifice Dark Sphere to prevent half the damage to me. So I'm actually going to take, instead of uh, 17, no. Instead of 17, I'm only going to take, uh, what's half of that rounded down? So it would be 6, so it would be 8. Right? I think so, yes. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Wow. And now I will pass the turn to you. <laughs> and now that's... Are you sure it's not just half your life? Damage. Does damage to each to half that player's life total. And this is when it does damage to an opponent, it deals double instead. Yep. That I prevent half damage from a source, which was this. So you guys took double and I took half. Yep. So if this was at 35, <laughs> he would take... Uh, uh, 17... And then, and then it would double, that. but then you half it, so it would be, um, half, it would be half of 17. Which would be 8.5, but it would be 8. Yeah. 17, another 17. No, he's preventing. This pre is to an opponent. Oh, okay. Not to me. Yeah. Gotcha. That's where yeah. I was yeah. missing. All right. Thank yep. you. And now I pass the turn to you. Ken and I are smoldering husks. Ah! This is going to be one of our most viewed games, just because it's going to be eight minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, at the beginning of my upkeep, uh, X life, scry axe, where X is the number of zombies. That's two, so take two. I scry two. Yeah, yeah. Should have done it. 
So obviously I did the damage to you, Chris, instead of Dan, because you I could have killed me on attacks. That's why I didn't want to leave you at yeah. one, because you would have killed me. He wasn't going after you. <laughs> but he could have if he was. it was just him and me. Yep. Wow. He would have killed me on all the spiders Did I lose your else. token? That's no, why that's I a token. Him. It's not the all actual right. card, so I was just going to point that out. Wow. Wow. That was... I, I, like, I was trying to set myself up both in case of order wipe did happen, because I didn't have enough flashback to spider spawning. You just need to so me like, for one damage somehow. Yeah, that's the thing. I can't, I I can't, know I can't half you now. You could. I can't uh, half you and double it, it which would be... <laughs> and you stole everything from graveyards from me, so I can't use any of that. Wow. <laughs> uh, so close to casting. Uh, that is what I put in there a long time ago when I tweaked it the last time. Went way nice. back into the dark. <laughs> Dark in the deck box. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a card I've never thought of using for anything because it's a one-time use. <laughs> Dan's gonna be deep in the tank trying to figure out exactly how he's gonna. Now we just commentate from ourselves. No, we don't. <laughs> I, I do yeah. believe if I half that, I don't and know. double it. It still takes the one out, but if it doesn't, then I'm in trouble. I have no clue if that's... Well... we'll no, I, I, I believe you're correct. I, I did, do remember mumbling across this interaction in... Like double Fred zero is zero. a while ago. Yeah, he's got a point. Oh, you mean for this part? Yeah. If he pings that again, I'm at one. It rounds down. Rounds down. So it'd be yeah, so zero. Zero. Yeah. zero. So double zero. So double zero. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, that wouldn't Yeah, work. so you gotta kill him normally. Wow. He's just got, you got a, the sense of course, you got a lightning bolt or something else in there, yeah. Jeez. Wow. How many cards right, in hand, uh, Vince? Okay. Fours. It's gotta be something. Mostly because I haven't done anything else this game, that's why I still have a hand. Wow. I literally just kept drawing and putting a land down. I got nothing that cost low except for the Swing sphere, for but the fences, I felt like dude. if I put the sphere out early, someone would have got rid of it, knowing what it does. So I was like, let me just wait. I, let me honestly, wait. I had no answer. Let me wait. Let me wait. Well, I was watching him because he played. He's playing blue. Yeah. And when he tapped his land, I was like, oh, thank God. Because <laughs> I figured you had a counter, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, they're just, they're just gonna counter my No, I, I lean more into creature effects with the modifications I made, so mm. not as many cap. It's more interaction as opposed to um, counters. So. Oh, just in general, with blue mana open, you just get scared. Yeah, so. I, I played a Venomous Changeling. Uh, it's a shapeshifter, it's got death touch, it's a 1 3. I'm gonna play a Submerged Boneyard. Um, after that, I'm going to ping you for five and end my turn. Commander. There's a world where, like, Frill Mystic and uh, Mystic Snake are in here as counter spells as well. So. Snake. Snake! One tap, one tap, one tap, one tap. And draw. I don't know. Do you think you got it? Uh, <laughs> unless he's got a counter spell. Baseball. I'll pay one, and I will chain lightning you to three. Do you want to copy the spell, oh. Dan? <laughs> you don't have double red. Yeah. That's what I was going for. Wow. Cool. All right, that's game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Thanks well, for leaving well, me alone for six turns. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. everyone for so leaving me alone. for that. Wow. But, uh, wow. Sometimes when I play this, I get attacked a lot whether I'm doing anything or not. This time, you guys didn't, you left me alone even though I wasn't doing anything. Well, I don't two. think, even if we attacked you every turn, I don't think we could have gotten. Sometimes that's a thing, but I obviously half myself as well. And without this, I'm still going to do it, it no matter what, even though it hurts me. So yeah. I, I, just, I was operating on the assumption you didn't have it. Final And party. I did have yeah, some couple other things. Well, I had the... Like if, if I'm at one, this, you know... Yeah, like I figured you were kind of stuck with like stuff. bird spells and just regular stuff. I didn't yeah. know you had the wildfire devils and it's like... I, yep. have a, I do have a lot of bird spells, but somehow yeah, only this duo. was in my hand. <laughs> the one that's not an instant, so... Fiendish duo. <laughs> yeah, Fiendish duo, sorry. Yeah. Wow. Well done, That was impressive. I think this will be the Maybe. shortest game on record here. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Coming in in just 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, too bad we forgot to turn the camera on again. No! Lens cap! <laughs> Not the lens cap. <laughs> well, that was a quick one. 
I was just getting going. I don't know about the rest of you guys. But yeah, I was scared of you. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was, you know, <laughs> warming up a little bit there. You know, I was, my you were doing a to lot. <laughs> and a dragon a turn is also a lot. And I'm like, oh, he's not attacking me. Phew. Oh, he's not attacking me. Phew. Oh, he's <laughs> like, one more lane, one more lane. <laughs> I'm curious. Would you have been able to kill me in the next couple turns? I had you, you, I had you dead on board with commander damage. Yeah. Wow. Yes. You would have gotten me next turn anyways? Yep. All right. Yeah, unless you had a way to block flying or interact with my commander at that well, point. Well, I would have been able to dig a flying out of somebody's graveyard mm -hmm. and block with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, you would have taken so that. So that, that would have been the, what I would have started doing. Yep. Yeah, you would have so, got I mean, my had, would you have found another way around that? Uh, hey, I added that to the deck. I tweaked it. I looked at the top card <laughs> I was about to hit, and it was a tutor, so possibly, but it was... Uh, I, a permanent base tutor. So, so I was hoping I'd get something. a big flying out, and then you'd go, mm. well, a 4 4 flying, and then that. you'd be like, all right, well, so do I, I want to get this jump block it, so or am I going to start going after somebody hope I don't else? Right, yep. And it's a gamble. I know. <laughs> but that's the only thing <laughs> well, I put in there. GG's to Vince. Yeah. Uh, Congratulations, Vince. We let him, we let him, we let him cook. Let him cook and do his thing. Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm still like. <laughs> we let you win. We, yeah, that's it. Sure, yeah, that's like what I said. Now. It's all here now. Left me alone now. first. <laughs> so congratulations, Vince. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw in this extraordinarily short game, <laughs> leave us a uh, like and please subscribe. It helps us out and helps you know when new games drop by us. Uh, and we can show you some more games of powerful magic <laughs> that Vince just demonstrated. <laughs> Check out our socials. We've got skits out there for people to view. Uh, and we will see you guys on the next one. Wow. That was heartless. Holy shit. Yeah.